you follow along with me as I go through my morning routine. Come on. So the next thing I do in the morning is get mine and my husband's lemonade ready for the day so I don't have to think about it while I'm in the middle of doing something else. So follow me as I make the lemonade. Okay, this morning I am going to make my kale shake um, and teach you guys how I do it. This is a keto kale shake. It's really healthy and gives me energy in the morning. Keeps me going for a while. So this is how it goes. I do about four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. strawberries now when I got these strawberries I wash them let them dry and then froze them and I leave the tops on there's minerals and vitamins in there so I do two strawberries a tablespoon of coconut oil About a teaspoon of stevia I use the pure and then I add a little bit of water to get that going probably a half a cup I need my lid I go ahead and blend that strawberries are all blended up. I do a handful of spinach. And then to the blender I do kale. And I just fill the rest of the blender up with that to the top. Press it down a little bit. Add more. just a little bit more water and then blend it again once your kale is pretty much blended in I go ahead and add some ice and that will help top up the, the kale even smaller my blender is an older one so it takes a little more to get chopped up Blend the ice in there. All right, so I just add ice until I like the consistency of the smoothie. I say about seven or eight pieces of ice is what I use. And then this is what it looks like. And then just add a straw and enjoy. Okay, so a little bit ago you watched me start my morning. This is my keto morning. I do this every morning. I wake up and I drink my apple cider vinegar. 
I wait a little bit and then have my cup of coffee and then I go into my kale shake and then this morning I'm going to have um, homemade zucchini almond flour bread um, it's just a zucchini bread but with keto ingredients instead I use almond flour stevia um, walnuts and I also include um, cranberries and I have been keto for six years so I incorporate other fruits that may not be strict keto like cranberries and that's only because I'm at the weight that I am comfortable with I'm happy with so I incorporate other fruits and um, vegetables that not strict keto people would use the reason for this video is just to introduce myself my name is Jessica I like to be called Jess and this is um, my channel is going to be about keto lifestyle and homesteading and I just wanted to share this journey not only with my little sister she um, was asking for videos on how to cook and bake and do all the homesteading that I do so this is to help her out so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me um, that is it. in the meantime enjoy my channel and I hope you learned something and I can learn something from you all right have a good day. Bye.